Hey, what's up guys? Quick update on Bitcoin and some of the alts I'm seeing here. We're seeing some pretty good breakouts today as well as some potential charts to keep an eye on for another move higher if Bitcoin can get going here. But quick look at the charts. First off, this is the four hour chart of BTC and you can see we've had that double test of resistance right around that 9K mark. We ran up to it again yesterday and to pull back right to about 8400. Now that's we found support there. Some good volume came in off the lows there was the potential that we were going to make a double top on this chart and that was certainly a valid concern especially considering on the daily chart we hit some pretty strong resistance right there but what i'm looking at and i'm leaning a little bit more bullish here is because we've made this series of higher lows and had a very strong rally from the extreme sell-off we are now making what looks to be a cup and handle pattern and this consolidation around here is looking very good if we can continue to hold this and then begin to break out that will confirm this cup and handle pattern and remember the cup and handle pattern is a continuation pattern that you will see after a strong rally and so it would make sense that we see that now zooming out a little bit here no doubt we are still below this key resistance downtrend and need to break above that to begin to really shift the momentum on the daily chart but the fact that the 10 EMA is now starting to go sideways and there's a little bit of a battle happening in and around that level um, I'm leaning bullish but I'm certainly still cautious when uh, making any type of trades and entries here but got to keep an eye on that four hour chart here over the next few days or the next few hours really and the levels to watch again on the downside if we begin to break below that 8,000, it will really start to look like a double top and that's a strong level of support that we've had over the last few days and we don't want to see that retested on the upside getting back above that $8,900 level will be very strong and we could really see the momentum pick up at that point Another chart I'm watching here for a potential breakout is a Litecoin. Now this is Litecoin versus BTC. And we had that strong move off the lows and it's just been sitting pretty tight here over the last few days, consolidating, letting the moving average catch up. And if we take a closer look at the four hour chart, you can see how narrow this range is really getting here. So I'd be watching this one for a, for a potential break. You'll see confirmation if we can get back above that uh, 0.019 level or so, but early signal will be getting above 185 and starting to close there. I'm liking the way this is setting up. The volume patterns are pretty bullish here, so got to keep an eye on Litecoin. Lisk is another name I'm watching here. Now, Lisk has had a very strong run already over the last couple of months versus BTC, but it just continues to stair-step its way higher. It has these little periods of consolidation and just moving, and right now we're in another period of consolidation there you can see how tight this has been over the last four days and if we zoom in here on the four hour chart this is getting very narrow so i'd be watching for this one potentially to break out and right now all the dips continue to be bought up so i'm seeing some good accumulation patterns on Lisk. z classic now we know there's a fork coming up and all that and that's really what drove this initial run up late last year and since then we were pausing going very quiet very sideways here for a long time and just big action coming out here today Feeling a little extended near term, so I certainly wouldn't be chasing some of these, but I'd be looking for more of a pause. The daily chart looks very good, and if it breaks out, it looks like it wants to go much higher. But again, near term, we just saw a huge run up in a very short period of time, and I'd be letting this one cool off a little bit. Same with Ethereum Classic, just continues to march up higher. Look at these volume patterns, just big green bars coming in to push this price higher already off the lows by a large amount i mean from this point up we were up 62 percent versus btc and even more when you look at the usd chart because btc has also been strong during that period versus usd ethereum classic is up 129 percent here over the last couple of weeks now we are running into a key resistance point here in and around that 32 to 34 dollar zone and so i'd be watching that see if we can get another pause we did get a pretty good consolidation in a secondary entry point here over the weekend you can see this little bit of a dip gives you a little bit of a sideways action here and that's your signal when it starts to break out above that especially with the volume coming in really confirms that action and since then we're up about another 25 to 30 percent from that point but no doubt one of the strongest names in the market right now Another one to watch for a potential breakout versus BTC is Omise Go. Now this one has had this downtrend that's still in place, but you can see here in the most recent days, it's kind of found a little bit of a base of support starting to go sideways here and is retesting this resistance point right now. So I'd be watching this one. The daily chart looks pretty good. After that big run up we saw early, late last year and early this year, we've kind of just been consolidating that volume is really dried up here at the lows. And so I'm liking the way this one's setting up. I'd be watching Omise Go for a potential breakout. Dash versus BTC had a similar trend and has already broken out and now it's retesting that downtrend. So if it can pause here, this would be a good place for it to bounce and close above this uh, 738, 739 level would really start to confirm that this downtrend has started to shift and maybe we start to see some more upside momentum versus BTC on Dash. 
Zcash. Now this is Zcash USD, but it's looking strong on BTC as well. And you can see had that nice run up versus uh, the USD off the lows here. And we were up, we've come up uh, at the lows. We were up already 90%. So it was one of the early movers and just consolidating right now and looking strong, looking like it wants to start going again. Now, if we look at Zcash versus BTC, had that run up, give us a pullback. Let's see a fib on that. That may have been almost a, a perfect retracement, and it was. So if we do a fib retracement on that, you can see it pulled right back to that 382 level. Really goes to show you the strength on this one, the fact that it only pulled back to that first retracement. Now, if we can start to see some more upside here with some volume, this one will be testing these most recent highs here versus BTC. And again, on the daily chart, um, it's looking very strong here. So I'm liking Zcash, one to keep an eye on. So again, back to Bitcoin, the action today is going to be pretty important. I'm liking this pattern here so far. I want to see some more upside, but looking like this cup and handle might play out on this four hour chart. And that will certainly translate into some more bullish action here on this daily chart as we begin to start closing above this 10 EMA and really start to shift some of the momentum near term. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Take care.